Welcome to Live Action Star Wars Presents Data Link. I am James. I'm Ralph. And it, Ralph, it has been a while since we've done a Data Link episode, and it's been a while since we've heard that theme tune, and I still love it. I think it might be my favorite intro that we have. I mean, I just grab I I don't know. I just grabbed it the music from a thing where you can yeah. grab free music. Yeah. yeah so. Hey, it's great. I love it. Um, it's such There's a nothing... wavy jam. It's awesome. There's like nothing worse than fake Star Wars music. Mm-hmm. Agree. You know, like when you it's when so you ever see like it's, a, it's close, but it's not right. Like a Star Wars documentary that can't have the John Williams music. You're just like you're trying too hard. Yeah. Like so, it's like I'm gonna go away from that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and that was the tough thing about doing live action Star Wars. The the other opening was like I I, I went through dozens and dozens of fake star wars music and i'm like uh, it's just it's yeah it's that it's, the we it's on that. like it's not it's not star wars you can tell it's just something that yeah. we can all sort of tell that it's not a real star wars piece of music but they're really trying hard for it to be so there is some <laughs> shared dna in there but yeah no it's weird um i really like it and i'll tell you what it does kind of link into one of the things that we're going to talk about today um, and that is Jedi Survivor, the new video game that came out. Um, right. That's just one of a few things that we'll probably talk about today. Um, but in that, there's you can unlock essentially a DJ droid and a band for the cantina that is like your hub that you go back to a lot. Um, yeah. And you keep on going back there with like new tracks and you can make requests of this DJ droid. Um, that's funny. And it's, it's all sort of Star Wars-y, synth wave stuff. It's, it's really fun. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I've been playing the game as much as I can, not as much as a, a lot of other people. Uh, I know yeah. a bunch of people have finished it. It's been out for a couple of weeks now. Um, I, I've i been playing on the Xbox Series X, uh, and I haven't had any performance issues with it. But it seems like most of the conversation that I hear online about that game at the moment is people playing on PC and just it being riddled with bugs and glitches and stuff which seems to be every oh. video that comes out these days and right. i'm just like just all right okay fine play it on a console if you want to play it or wait for it to be fixed but don't be reviewing a game based on it kind of not being finished yet yeah um because it's great i'm having a lot of fun playing the game yeah also don't listen to reviews oh, oh yeah 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 listen to conversations like us yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> reviews yeah reviews yeah. are rubbish i'm not a fan uh let's uh first off yeah I, so before we started i looked for like a news roundup of everything that happened uh, last whenever it was <laughs> six days ago yeah well in the last yeah in the last couple of weeks there's been a bunch of stuff um and there wasn't really a whole lot there was no real news coming out of not, May not news or... no there's, there's been releases and things like and then I saw. yeah yeah and we'll get into those mm. um but I did want to share this news that everyone here should know right off the bat. On May 25th, yes. we will be doing a Thursday show. Mm-hmm. That won't be a show uh, on Wednesday. Time. Same time, but on Thursday, we decided that May 25th would be a good time to do this. And we'll be discussing the Empire Strikes Back NPR radio drama. Again, with Patrick Kotner, uh, mm-hmm. who discussed the Star Wars radio drama with us. Um, I mean, it would have been ideal to hit return of the jedi on that date but it's fine yeah it's fine like, we're, gonna, we, we're not gonna do that order movies out of order but we kind of want to go through these in some sort of order yeah so we want to give you a heads up you got a couple weeks yeah three four weeks something two, like two weeks i think two weeks it's coming around quick like it's it's the 10th right. of today so yeah it would be yeah two weeks two weeks tomorrow oh, yeah because it's a data link yeah so you have two weeks but unlike the last one which i believe is 13 12 or episodes. 13 episodes. This is only yeah. 10. This is 10 episodes. I don't know if they're longer. I don't know if the time is made up, but um, uh, check it out. I haven't started yet. I haven't started yet. I'm going to probably start tonight, but there is a new episode of Dharma Lars that I haven't listened to yet. So might have to listen right. to that first. I also are need you, to watch the episode. Okay. So, are, so here, here's the thing. 
for you and nobody else. <laughs> Perfect. My favorite because, kind of podcast. Because you have access to this stream yard. I, I, mm -hmm. when, I got, when I got the stream yard, I was allowed one other person to also be an admin. So you can add, you know, people Feed, to the stream. You can do your own streams with, with when you do with like Adam, the, the mini mm -hmm. episodes and stuff and anything like that. You have full access review episodes, bits and bobs. Like, yeah, yeah. You also have access to recordings in the back area which ah. is, you've been doing this season of sweet tooth so you're the only person other than myself that can watch those darn i i'll tell you i haven't yet i didn't watch last week's episode um i probably will keep listening to it because i don't know just listen I'm... to it but yeah. but i'm gonna this again this isn't for anybody but you <laughs> I, I feel bad for this but <laughs> in the latest episode um, I trimmed out about seven minutes of stuff at the very beginning because we were having problems with um, Ben's microphone and stuff. Okay. So while Ben was bouncing out and coming back in and testing and doing all this stuff, Ryan and I had a conversation about um, um, some other things that uh, you can listen to. Maybe, I, I don't know if it's something, I'll have to go revisit it to see if it's something I could put up on the Patreon okay, over cool. at uh, patreon.com slash <laughs> but I will, um, I will have a listen to it. And I mean, I'll let you know if there's anything that you probably shouldn't release. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I may call someone in it a whiny baby. Um, So it might we'll not see. show up anywhere, but I'm just mm -hmm. saying you might, you might, you might get a kick out of it. Just like the first like 10 minutes of it yep. is different. I, I'll, I'll probably, depending on when I get it. to listening to the episode, I, I will definitely check it out. Well, I mean, it has nothing like you can watch it today. It has nothing yep. to do with Sweet Tooth. So you're not going to get spoiled. Um, but, but check that out. And people who are on my discord, if it's something I can put on there, on my patreon discord I'm, i might put it up for a little bit but it's there's one there was one aspect of it that i thought was really funny and um <laughs> you might want to check that out um uh, but anyway say, in let's, two let's, weeks yeah yeah two weeks time uh listen to that because we had a blast last time oh it was great it was so much fun and this time i don't Steve, need to run away um <laughs> Steve knows who i'm talking about <laughs> um i i won't need to run away to work that's another benefit of us doing it next thursday oh in two weeks on the thursday not on the wednesday um mm. so i mean last time you guys went longer uh than normal that was our, so that was our longest episode it was the longest episode so yeah i'm looking forward to it It should be a fun time um and mm. it's it's a good day to celebrate a birthday of the thing that we all love yeah return of the yeah. jedi and Star Wars, mm -hmm. both released on May 25th. Um, yeah. Did any of the, and, and Solo. Oh, Solo did, yeah. Solo was a, a May 25th. Prequels did, did they? They tried, they, get, they came as close as they could, I think. Yeah. They hit the May 19th, I think. Yeah, there was a couple of, yeah. There was an, I know something came out on May 18th as well. Yeah. One of them, somewhere. And that might, yeah. that might have just been here. I don't, again, don't know. Mm -hmm. Um. None of this. Yeah, let's stuff, say hi to know, the chat. Coming out. Yeah, let's say hi to the chat. Um, and while while you're sort of pulling some people up, if for anyone who's watching, you notice me like playing with my eye here, it's because <laughs> literally just before we came on, uh, I was taking the dog for a walk around the block, and the timing I couldn't have been any more anti-perfect, if that's a thing. I just as I was blinking, a little fly flew right into my eye, so I kind of blinked it closed, and it like Eon feels. Flux yeah totally <laughs> and it was like it's the weirdest feeling ever it's not very nice so if i have a bloodshot eye or anything like that it's i'm i'm, I'm fine it's just a weird weird sensation <laughs> there you go that's, 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 that's the weird the weird stories of our lives <clears throat> I've uh it. sarah's here lucha johnny's here but also lucha johnny um who had the same issues finding music for his new show geek the mm. f out with kayla um brand new show launched yesterday oh, uh go check it out. Check out um everybody. they're they're right now they're talking about star trek i don't fully i don't fully know what the full scope of the show is i know that geek the f out is um geek the fuck out i don't care yeah. um is the is the sort of like an maybe an umbrella thing mm -hmm. for many different types of shows but right now they're talking about star trek um i, I designed that logo hey 
So if anyone needs a logo, let me know right now. I was just talking to James that like my wheels are kind of spinning right now. Mm -hmm. Um, We're, we're sort of on a little bit of a, um, a pause on the movie until some things come up. Uh, We're, we're waiting on a couple of things to, to commence. So in the meantime, if you want logo design done, that looks cool. I'm actually really, I'm really proud of this logo. It's really good. I think it yeah. turned out really good. Um, I mean, you can't really uh, see it right there because it's a tiny it's, little thumbnail. It's but pretty tiny. Yeah, but, but when um, you actually go and subscribe to Geek the F out, you'll you'll see a bigger version yes. of it. Mm-hmm. Uh, Absolutely. So go do that. And go ahead and give them a subscribe. Mm-hmm. Uh, Stevie's here. Uh, she's just in the other room, um, watching the show. And good morning, Stevie. Jeremy Kelly's here. Um. <laughs> Uh, nice. He just finished his what, last audiobook. So, what what audiobook you finished, Jeremy? I'm curious. Was it was it Star Wars related or something completely different? It's Invincible. I, don't I love Invincible that much. That'd be amazing. Ah, oh, an Invincible audiobook would be cool. Well, they had those motion comics. That yeah, that was a thing that was tried, wasn't it? For like a hot minute. Yeah, when, I, when I, digital I, comics was first starting up. Somewhere in that top drawer, I think I still have the the card I got at Comic Con. Oh wow! What was the link to? The and it's still yeah. in my in still in my iTunes under purchases. Uh-huh. Like if you go back far enough, that is that's there. And then I think I also got a card for like a Buffy the Vampire Slayer comic book. Yeah, they were yeah. hot for a while. Yeah. Um, Fun. Steve, you know who's I'm talking about? This this is this is really funny. So um, let me just say that we record Darmalars almost immediately after my Fireball Guy Island games, uh-huh. and there is some there's some fun stuff that happens during those fireball island games and mm-hmm. uh, yeah it's it's so fun <laughs> they look great i've seen some pictures they look like the most fun oh oh i'm assuming this is johnny uh, uh the- at work one time a gnat flew in front of his mouth just as he was taking a breath um that sounds awful. always reminds me of um it's belloc isn't it in uh raiders of the lost ark who totally oh, yeah, that fly eat, just goes into his fly. mouth and I mean, what a pro, because he just carries on with the scene. Right. <laughs> That's how they teach it in France, right. I guess. Um, <laughs> he was just like, ooh, got the... And you can imagine the editor on that. Like, they're using, like, probably film strips. And, and you know, it was probably brought up after the take was done. And Spielberg was like, okay, I know there's a version of this where he swallows a fly. Can you please <laughs> go find which one that is? <laughs> that's the one. <laughs> no matter what, that's the one. Right. Uh, it's good stuff this this is all good um we were saying about there not being much news coming out last week but there was oh okay there you go uh second book in the throne ascendancy awesome i haven't done any of that trilogy yet i did the like the first right. canon throne trilogy uh and i've actually got the first hardcover of that for sale on ebay at the moment because i saw what it was kind of going for and i was like damn i'll, I'll take that thank you very much it's just sitting on my shelf i'll sell it um and so yeah, if anyone wants a copy, you know, let me know. I'll send you a link. Awesome. Um, I just saw this on Twitter before uh, jumping on. Is that Dave Filoni uh, announced that Thrawn is the main villain of the Republic era, the New Republic era? Um, mm-hmm. Someone asked him. He said yes, and then people took that as a made it into a whole new story. Um, I it's one of the yeah, it drives me nuts, man. I, I feel I'm I'm tired of knowing too much. I, I'm telling because because you're just gonna get disappointed. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah, because you again, it's the expectations thing, isn't it? You start to build it up in your head how it's yeah. got to go. It's like everyone's saying this is absolutely a Rebels continuation. It's like no, 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 it won't be. Like you won't need to have watched four seasons of Rebels to get this show. That it should be implied and it should it should be additive if you have, but you yeah. will be able to go into this without much knowledge. Um, yeah, so. Kind of miss the days where you just saw a trailer and then went, out, went and watched a movie. Yeah, it's fun. I still I like doing to, that. I don't need to know about Lord and Miller. I don't need to know about Rogue One's issues. Uh, mm-hmm. Rogue One's awesome. Yep. I don't. I don't care what it went through to get there. Solo's um, fun. Like it's they're both great films. We don't. Yeah, they had yeah. issues. Fine, but hey, it all yeah. it all worked out in the end. Um, yeah. it's yeah, it's good stuff. Because if things don't work out your way, you start blaming people that you don't know. Like your Pablo Hidalgo's who's like, you don't know what he does. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm sure that they're fine with their paychecks that they got. Like, you know, they they did their job. And yeah, sure, they would like yeah. I mean, uh Damon Lindelof came out, and I think his his quote that he said recently was the best. He's like, Yep, I worked really hard on a thing, 
and it didn't work out. Would if I was given an opportunity to get back in that clubhouse and to play in Star Wars again, I would take it without batting an eyelid. Like I'm I'm right there because I, I would love to do that one day if it works out. If they want what I do, they'll then they'll use it. But if they don't, they don't. Um and even right. Kathleen Kennedy just in Empire, I think the issue came out like yesterday or something, but I saw some quotes from her about all of these projects. And she's saying about the Ryan Johnson trilogy. She's like, We talk all the time. He's super busy. He's doing his own thing. I, I'd love to do it one day when he's got the opportunity to do it. Uh, about the Taika project. Yep, he's working on it, but he is slow and he he knows he's slow. Yeah. But it'll be ready when it's ready. We're going to make it when he's ready to do it. Right. Um, same with Lando and Rogue One, uh, Rogue Squadron. She's like, they're both still on the books. We're both going to do, they're going to do both of them when it, we can, but we want them to be good. And so I think yeah. she she feels the same as we all do as people who are getting annoyed by these projects that get announced and then not delivered on that she's she's now to the point where she's saying we'll announce things when we're going to go and do them and that's why I'm a lot more confident about the three that just got announced because yeah. it sounds like they they are going to happen um again the track record has not been great so I'll believe it when I see it but Right. Based on everything that they've said, it's like we we probably shouldn't have announced those things, or those th mm -hmm. like ideally the news about those things wouldn't have come out um, until they were literally ready to start rolling on it. Right. Uh, um, I want to bring this up real quick, uh, Scott. Do you have you ever known anyone who won't watch any trailers in any form? Um, yes, my my nephew does that. My nephew Matt. When cool. there's Marvel trailers, he will he'll he'll just go like this. I think he still listens to him. Oh yeah, you can't avoid that. Um, my friend Anthony, uh -huh. when the prequels came out, um, avoided every trailer. Would like get up and leave. Wow. Yeah. Um, we would we would let him know because we had watched the trailers, the episode one and two, three yeah. trailers online, so he knew when it was the first shot. So he like hit him hard, and he yeah. would go into like battle droid like a battle droid <laughs> shut down the fetal position um, in the corner of the theater <laughs> but what's great about tony is this um tony wanted to hang out in line with us yeah okay that's great. all three for yeah. all three so we i think the the longest we did line was 24 hours and the shortest we did was uh 12 hours wow. in line for star wars the prequels mm -hmm. tony would show up loaded up with an ipod full of star wars music yeah, listening to that and would have a blindfold on and then wow. every single every single movie i made him a t-shirt that said like blast shield down uh spoiler free something That's like great. that but yeah. on the back of the shirt had every image of every character from oh wow the new movie and so that was a lot of fun somewhere i have a picture of that that's um, really fun but uh but he 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 wanted the experience and so what happened was i believe it was episode three he hadn't watched uh, Gendy Tartakovsky's Clone Wars because he didn't want to get spoiled on the movies. So what he did was my friend loaded him up on his PSP. Uh -huh. And we figured out how long they were. There's like, what, an hour total or something? Tops, yeah. It's what, two, and this two volumes the one where, of it. And they're well, all it, was, it, it was only the one volume. They only had the first one out yet. Oh, okay. I think. I because know. it ended with Grievous. It's the yeah. it was the season that ended with Grievous. I think came out before. I can't remember, but um, yeah. because I remember that was the big thing. Yeah. So. Yeah, it was the reveal of we, Grievous. Uh, yeah. We. Uh, yeah, we would. Um, he would sit there and watch it literally right before the line started moving. That's awesome. And so he he would was get he caught. was he disappointed that Dirge watch. wasn't in the movie? <laughs> uh, I don't think so. Does Dirge get killed? Uh, I mean, he's he's popped back up in like Grievous, some canon comics, but like he's Grievous he's shows up. Yeah, Grievous shows up. Yeah, Tony um, was afraid to go by like Taco Bell's, wow, uh, uh, stuff like that. We had a, we went and got all the toys, and he had to go. Uh, got a cameo, Ellie. Come here. Come um, he had to he had to like avoid stuff that we were bringing home because we were all in the same apartment. Um, so. <laughs> yeah it's uh the things with trailers like like 
geek the fuck out says uh they he, he watched a movie recently where they put the final okay. shot in the trailer and it's like yeah i hate yeah, it. it's kind of crappy like, i feel like for a while um movies got better about just being very vague and more teaser trailers like but now again like i watched the oppenheimer trailer yesterday it's like all right it's in the same way that like titanic you can't spoil the fact that you know the titanic right. sinks oppenheimer makes a bomb like it's it's pretty obvious but it's like a three minute trailer and it's like yeah. okay sure it's a three hour movie so that's a fraction of it but still it's like i just don't want to see it beat, again beat, I don't, yeah i don't i don't I'm, need that. i don't um stevie stevie asked this is ellie uh ellie is this is liz's dog but she lives here sort of most of the time because liz is here most of the time um she'll occasionally she weekends down at liz's mum's. um but yeah she's great she's a great dog she's normally um either with liz or uh downstairs or hanging out when the episodes are on but yeah. it's just me and her today so we're just hanging out i watched That's why uh... that door's open. Uh, we i watched a uh, guardians 3 the other day and it. it's the first time i saw the uh the latest indiana jones trailer because i'm like i'm gonna see it uh -huh. i'm good the one and that then, came out um, i think during celebration yeah the one with uh the rolling stones music yeah yeah um and i watched like three seconds of it i'm like no i'm good i'm all, need to. All... Yeah, yeah 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 and then so i was at the theater i'm like you know i'll just watch it because it's yeah gigantic and it's also, in front yeah of me. you're in a, you're in a theater it's a better situation um dude the music in the indiana jones trailers the non williams <laughs> raiders marches that they're using are so, weird, so it? bad it's yeah. so bad i it's didn't like notice it on the first one because i wasn't listening to it but on this one yeah. i was because i like jude mentioned it and yeah it it jumped out like it was jarring is bad mm. <laughs> yeah <laughs> so, so, for so, World so, War sorry II. jeremy <laughs> <laughs> i won't tell you the um, rest <laughs> <laughs> i yeah so i don't know it, yeah i don't I, it was when it comes to star wars i feel like they're so secretive now mm -hmm. like especially with jj coming on and stuff that i feel like they're oh they're not gonna give us the like they're not gonna spoil anything they're not gonna give us like crazy stuff it'll be unless you want to see imagery. certain things yeah, you'll see yeah. images and get the feelings, um, but yeah. it'll just be out of context. Yeah, because I don't really need to see a Star Wars trailer ever. I'm gonna go see the movie, and I'm going to watch all the trailers. I don't need to, and I will probably right. have a great time if I don't see anything. But I don't mind. There's certain things that I don't mind spoilers for at all because I'm like, yeah. it's for me. A lot of it is down to the execution more than the surprise. I like. There are certain things where I enjoyed the surprise of the what's happening whereas other things i'm like eh, I've, I, I've seen movies i know roughly how most movies go and it's about yeah. the execution it's how they pull it off um yeah. more than the surprise of it but again i don't go out of my way to hunt down trailers as much as i used to yeah. definitely not um I, I talk about how i'll go see any star wars because i love star wars and mm. i i, I want to see what's going on but um Still only seen the first episode of Visions, and I okay. know the second the second batch is out. Um, so, so let's talk I, about I, that. I think I might, that... I think I might skip the first one. For, I might yeah. just why they're like what five minutes, six minutes, ten minutes. Uh, sure. They're between they're between ten and twenty minutes. Oh, okay, I mean, um, they're I a little bit longer. I should just do it. I I would say to you, uh, as Ralph, who isn't an anime fan like or anything like that, I would suggest you skip volume one. Watch volume two, see see the the awesome vehicles uh, that pop up in that. Watch volume two because there's like one episode. To, I I haven't finished it. I've got three episodes left to watch. Um, there's one so far out of the ones that I have watched that is, I think it might be a Japanese studio. I'm not sure, but it or it, it might be a uh, Korean studio actually. Mm -hmm. uh, studio Mir, who did a lot of the stuff for um, Avatar and Legend of Korra, uh, which okay. aren't like anime but they 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 were animated by some of it was animated by a korean studio and stuff um yeah. whereas this this short is definitely more anime than a regular sort of western cartoon um but this that's the only one so far that has that sort of flavor to it and that even there it's 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 not that it's not what you expect yeah. um 
the rest of it, it's just really cool animation from all over the place. Uh, I think the first one was a, a Spanish studio. There's uh, Irish studio. There's um, one from England, Ardman, uh, who do like the Wallace and Gromit yeah. claymation stuff. That's what um, I'm really looking forward to. It's it's really fun. Wedges in it. Um, it's it's very much an Ardman animation thing. Uh, and a friend of mine actually works there. Uh, who's a massive Star Wars fan, but he didn't get to work on the short. I did ask him about it. Oh. Um, and he's like, nope. And I'm insanely jealous. I saw, I got to see stuff, but he wasn't working on it at all. Um, but yeah, my friend Seb, uh, who works at Ardman, uh, he he was very excited about it. He couldn't tell me anything. Like when when it was rumored that they were the, the British studio that were working on it, I messaged him and he was like, I can definitely say that I'm not working on a Star Wars short, and that's all I can say. Um, <laughs> so it was like, yeah, okay, Ardman are doing it, but he's not doing it himself. Um, but yeah, no, so far I am really, really enjoying Volume 2. Um, I probably will finish off either tonight or tomorrow night. I'll finish off that, that second volume. Well. And then I would say once you finish that, if you still want more, check out volume one. Um, there's some really good stuff in there. There's some stuff mm. that I don't care about and won't ever go back to, but I'm I'm happy that I watched it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I need to, yeah, I'm in the middle of watching Ted Lasso and Barry. And then mm. last night we started Bub Kiss, which was, I thought, really funny. I, I don't know what Bub Kiss is. Pete, Pete Davidson's new show. Oh, okay. Um, really really fun mm, so exactly. now i'm watching three uh, i think it's peacock okay I'll um, have to find a, a, a stream of it yeah yeah That'd be fine. but uh, uh but um so yeah but those are all ending soon and i'm we're like yeah. treading water as far as the shows to watch so mm -hmm. i'm thinking i'm thinking once these are done i'll watch some visions visions is it's short there's always something that comes on or something where i'm like i have like 15 minutes perfect <laughs> before before i need to do i think something the else. longest the longest one in volume two is 20 minutes like and yeah. and the like the shortest is like 11 so yeah. it they're they're right in that sweet spot of even if you're not too into it by the time you've figured out if you like it or not it's over um yeah. and you can just I'll, appreciate uh, it for an amazing bit of animation um because yeah, they might do that and i might so, so do cool. um after that i'll do bad batch season two Mm -hmm. just to just to sort of get caught up because i don't think any of it's gonna have to do with the ahsoka show not uh, with ahsoka right now, but we're... i think with um the feloni movie i think there's gonna be stuff in there because uh, right. he name checked so... like mount tantis which he's he definitely seems to be sort of saying yeah we've we've spoke to timothy zan and there is stuff in those books that we want to pull from um and wayland mount tantis and stuff like that so uh which pops up in in bad batch so right there'll be, Again, there'll we're be gonna some... get that photo we're gonna get that photo of timothy zahn next to uh what's his name nicholson uh not nicholson. is it lars, lars yeah he's lars, lars isn't it? Yeah. Lars. Um, uh, good for him I'm, I'm really happy for timothy zahn it's it's, it's lovely yeah we'll get that we'll mm -hmm. get that at some point oh yeah um and that's that's going to be very exciting yeah. um haven't touched the book haven't touched the Thrawn trilogy. I, um, I haven't yet. You don't know. Um, Did you get it? Did you end up finding it? I couldn't find it. No. Uh, and I think there's, I might be the version that you've got. It's like really hard to find like a physical oh, copy really? of now. So it's, it's going for quite a bit. Um, I, I might just pick up. They've got the box set. Cause I, for whatever reason, I found a load of my old books, but I couldn't find those probably because I've got them somewhere separate because I would have kept them separate for ease of access. And then they're in a different box that I have no idea where it is um but there's the like the ultimate uh legends collection uh mm -hmm. they've done the trilogy of all three in like a nice new binding and everything like that so i, I might pick that up at some point go on how much is it you've you've just looked it up haven't the, you? the first one i saw for on ebay is 240 dollars. <laughs> yeah no i'm, I'm all right <laughs> 323 dollars I, I feel like and that's the thing that was that was the reason that I put this book up for sale as well. I think basically you put Thrawn in anything now, and it old Thrawn material is it's the current hotness, so that's why it's there's a premium on it all. So now's the time to sell if you've got any Thrawn stuff. It seems. Oh, I really like it though. Yeah, it's really nice. If I had it, I'd struggle, but I could I could really. Uh... 
it'd be really nice to have that money. <laughs> I, I sold my I, I sold my Obi Wan lightsaber. Did you? Yeah, my my episode yeah. one and two Obi Wan lightsaber. Mm -hmm. Um, I love it. Yeah. It, and I did a review of it already, so I didn't mm. need to hold on to it for the show. But I mean, it was a lightsaber that I never really cared for. I didn't care for the like Billy Idol studs on the bottom. <laughs> um, but I got it through Rebel work, Young. fully functional. Yeah, fully functional in the box. Obi Wan Episode One and Two lightsaber for twenty five bucks. That's what you paid so for. I'm it. Like, so I'm like, yeah, okay, I'll get it's it. A freebie, almost like at that yeah. point, yeah it's a lightsaber mm -hmm. and then i came to really like it like yeah. i understand why why ewan mcgregor picked it and so yep. i'm like man it's like it, of all the lightsabers i pick up it was the one i picked up the most but then i found out like oh i can get like 350 dollars for this thing. i had that i had the, I like have, the, the 120th like, scale master replicas uh dooku and um mace windu ones uh back when oh, master yeah. replicas were still doing stuff and i yeah, bought those um when i was working at forbidden planet and uh, so I paid yeah. like next to nothing for that. I think I paid 20 pounds each for those. Yeah. And I sold those for like a hundred quid each. Um, so, yeah. yeah. But so now I have these, like I have all the ones I like love. Mm. So the Halcyon Star Cruiser that Rick DeMint sent me, uh, yep. that's staying here forever. Um, mm -hmm. uh, the Mace Windu one that my sister got me. I love that lightsaber. That's Great. staying with me forever. Luke's episode six and uh, the Ray Skywalker forged, um, uh, out of her staff one i i think if i were to sell one it would be the ray one yeah you get the, if the better I, if quality I get one? black series one yeah yeah because the black series one this actually spins it yeah it shines the color. yellow or it shines blue and green first mm -hmm. but um i'm good but yeah that throne book yeah i mean if that's what if that's what's gonna happen i mean yeah, I could probably <laughs> Keep get an it eye digitally. It. I could yeah, probably get it problem. digitally. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let's talk about another book that just came out recently as well. I've got it right here. Um, this People were going oh, nuts yeah. for this on, on Twitter when this released. Oh, uh, I it's saw, got, the, it's I knew... got that UV coating on it. I love mm -hmm. that. Yeah, it's got a bit of shine to it. Um, yeah, that's it's, good. It's realness. Um, I was in the publishing panel at Celebration and I knew this was coming out and I'd, I was like, okay, cool. It's it's going to be sort of up my alley, but do I need to get it like straight away? In that panel, I was like, oh, that looks really nice. That looks like something that I would like I'd just happily have and then flick open to a page and read through whenever, like a proper coffee table book style. Right. Um, and then everyone was going nuts for it on Twitter the week that it came out and I was just instantly convinced. So I bought it. And it is just, it's a series of timelines. Every like double page spread is a, a timeline. So this one that I just opened to is Rebel Cells. And it's 19 BBY to 2 BBY. And then it just goes through year to year with all the like everything that's happening. So this is obviously, it's a lot of Rebels because that's what's happening. But there's, there's stuff from Andor in here. There's uh, stuff from different stories, short stories and things. It, oh my god like okay so there's gonna be an expanded edition i'm assuming this is something that grows over the years right i mean it would have to if i mean if this is successful um they'll they'll i would assume I mean, that they do a new version I mean, in what five ten years time like looking at that that's my kind of book it's yeah it's great it, and it's essentially it's it's the cliff notes of everything so all of that stuff that's happening yes you can go on to the and get High Republic's where okay. it's in there. It's all in here. Um, up the first. That's like the first. Basically, the the first phase of the High Republic. So the first. See, that's the kind of stuff. That's what I need. That's what yeah. I need is I don't want to read High Republic, but if you get me like bullet points with pictures and 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 Dude, things. There's and there's stuff in here stuff. pre pre High Republic. So like twenty five thousand years, which we know is when that the other movie's coming out, the James Mangold one. Um, it's, oh, is yeah, that the, the first book, Jedi one? Yeah, the birth of the Jedi is yeah twenty five uh twenty five oh twenty five, um and That's then five crazy. years later is uh Professor Hu Yang powered up the the droid the David Tennant droid. There's there's a um and then there's like a little sentence about each each thing. There's a Green Lantern animated movie called Emerald Knights. Mm -hmm. um, Nathan Fillion plays Hal Jordan, mm -hmm. and he's telling 
one of the other characters, Arisa, who do I have? Is there another no, Arisa action figure? Um, yeah, yeah, High Republic. Cool. Yeah. Is that um, he tells the story of the first Green Lantern. Oh, cool. And so every time I hear about this first Jedi, it, it, it makes me think of that. That's um, awesome. And it's, it's pretty exciting. He's, is it the first Jedi, like Jedi Knight? So I'm, this is, this is, cause this is how it's, it's set up in the, in the Green Lantern one that there's the guardians of the universe and the guardians of the universe created these things called Manhunters, and they would spread peace out to the galaxy, but there were robots and they, they decided what's perfect to them may not be perfect to everybody else. And they mm -hmm. are turning essentially turn into like terminators. Mm -hmm. So the guardians then like tore down that whole project and came up with the green lantern Corps. We need sentient beings with thought to run their area. So, yep. uh, so someone from earth would know earth the best. So let's give uh, someone That's why you've got the different systems, yeah. the different. Yeah. So in this, there was, there was the whole concept of there was a group that created. So if we're doing this a one for one for star Wars, it would be a group of wizards. Like, is this going to be about a group of wizards who believe in the force? That's it. Or, or the and discovery this is of, them, yeah. And this is them creating the first, uh, a Jedi knight. Like if it's that, that seems kind of cool. Like who to find, who do you find for to be the person to wield this power for the first time? It's, um, that's it. That, that way, that's uh, it's exciting because it's it's something that we know very very little about. We know I don't roughly. Think, when I don't want it to just happened, be like a guy. You gotta think that there's always been people that surely, if the force is sort of all around, then people might have been feeling it and feeling it, but not knowing what they're feeling, not knowing what that feeling is or how to harness yeah. it. Um, or maybe they have been, oh. but like in an uncontrolled way. And this is. I want it to be like. Uh like close encounters where people okay. around the world have Everyone this can. feeling yeah. has the same thing and it's all bringing them to this one place. And so, it could be like a Jedi, what well, becomes a Jedi temple, but it could be this force place and they come together uh -huh. uh, and they start figuring this stuff out. And then. So they've, they've, I've they've, hin it. they've hinted at things. So the planet that okay. Grogu and Mando are on when Grogu sits on the stone to eventually connect to Luke it, space that, southern california space southern california yeah um yeah. the i can't remember the name of it but that planet is in legends that's like the the og jedi planet mm -hmm. um it looks different but the, the name check is there and it is the the original jedi planet the original jedi temple we know that acto mm -hmm. is like very likely to be the first jedi temple in but, canon but, but grogu was able to send out a signal to find uh, a Jedi, so exactly, and maybe, and Luke was probably on Osus at the time, which is where his academy is, uh, or somewhere. But it's like there's there are these key points that they've mentioned already, or we've seen at various stages of disrepair or later on in the timeline. So I'm excited to see these at their prime, at the like being built. Um, and you got to think that that Doctor Hu Yang's going to be in there as well. Like David Tennant gets to be in that one. I would have thought um, if he yeah. wants to be. Um, okay. it's fun and that book it's like you'll get an overview of an era and then it will dive in deep to a certain section so like say um, in using the High Republic as uh, an example they, you get the overview of the entire like first phase which is over a couple of years uh, yeah. of every everything that's happened and then you turn the page and the next page is it's the great disaster which is how Light of the Jedi the first book opens with this big thing happening big event and it's right. It's really detailed and it's essentially the the opening third of that book, but broken down into one two page spread with key moments of what each character is doing. Um, it's great. Okay. It's And then obviously, if you want more of any of that, you can go onto Wikipedia and get the full breakdown of one thing or that character's thing. But it's it's really, really nice. It's a it's a great book. I recommend everyone check it out. What's the retail on that? It is going for in the UK thirty five bucks. Uh, well, thirty five yeah. pounds. Uh, so I'd guess it's probably about forty forty bucks. Yeah, okay. forty fifty bucks. Um, okay. yeah, I'm, I'm. Yeah, I'm really thinking about selling that book. I mean, dude, that's this is something to check out for sure. 
Yeah, if there's a digital version too, because I just like reading on my iPad. Mm, I do. Um, I do I'm normally. A- um, this is one that I would definitely say get the physical. There's something about it. I know it's kind because of because it's a square dimension. It's gonna be shitty on the iPad anyway. If it was, and it's it's so many of it. So much of it is double page spread. So you're gonna be pinching and zooming a lot if you've got it on that. Whereas this, you, yeah. it's nice having it. Um, yeah, we'll it's see. all double page spreads, I believe. Uh, I don't think there's any single stuff in there. Yeah. Um, we talked briefly about Jello Survivor, but I think we'll get to that in a little bit. We don't have the most time in the world. Something briefly I just want to mention that also came out that I picked up at Celebration, came out just before, mm. is uh, Star Wars the deck building game. Uh, board game, or tabletop game. Dude, that uh, artwork looks like a, a, a 90s Star Wars video game. Absolutely. You it literally looks like X-Wing or something. Um, the Fantasy Flight booth were giving out posters of, of that, and it's now behind the a-wing back there um you you can't really see it but it's back there and it's yeah it's it's the expanded version of that artwork um it's super cool and it yeah it does definitely give that vibe um it's a great 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 two-player game i will probably at some point do a little mini episode review just about the game uh gonna try out the um because I'm using my phone as my camera now, uh, the continuity camera, you can do that desktop view. So you guys can see me doing this and my desk. So I'll probably oh. like lay out a hand or like lay out like the, how the game is played. Uh, so I can talk about it a bit better. Got to figure that out. I might end up doing it at the table downstairs, but great game. If anyone wants a different phone. it's yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's a good point. It's, it's not expensive. It's about half an hour, 40 minutes to play uh, around uh and it's really really fun really good um it's oh it's not really like the uh customizable card game it's it's a deck builder so it's you've got you start you're with a hand of cards everyone starts with the same like you've got the empire 10 cards and the rebel 10 cards they're essentially the same just different characters and stuff like that they do the same things and then as you're playing you're trying to add cards to your deck uh and then get rid of the the original hand so that you're you sort of trimmed it down to the good stuff and then you're attacking enemy bases and enemy units and things like that it's it's shockingly simple to play so like it's i've heard people describe it as a really good game to give to someone if they're interested in tabletop games but haven't really sort of taken the dive yet if they go i really like star wars and i've heard that there's some good star wars games what should i check out this is one to check out um me and liz are playing it a lot we've We've done, I think, five games of it, and I think I'm three two up, maybe, maybe, maybe we've only done four. Maybe I'm three one. I know I'm I'm winning because we've been keeping tabs of who's who's been winning. But yeah, good game, really, really good game. Uh, highly recommend it. Uh, we talked about Visions Volume Two. Um, yeah. I I I want to watch more of it. I'm really enjoying it. I'm, I'm enjoying it a lot more than I did Volume One, and I I quite liked Volume One. I thought it was fun. Mm um but this one is better uh and then yeah the big one the big one later on uh what well, the big one that has come out recently is is jedi survivor um that everyone's been playing and i've been playing it's continuation from jedi fallen order which you played about half of um, halfway I yeah probably halfway. Get back into it good game uh this one blows it out of the water for me though i i was playing yeah. it recently to sort of re like, acquaint myself with it um and something that i love about this game is that you start with everything that you'd unlocked all the powers and abilities that you'd unlocked in the first game you start and you've just got them they're there oh, cool. um it's not uh, a metroid mania sort of thing you, where lose you, have all your to, stuff. you lose all your powers and you have to retrain again it's like you're doing that in the first one because you're a jedi who's shut himself off so like that's part of the game is retraining, relearning what you knew. Whereas this, you just start and you get new stuff as you go along because there's new, mm-hmm. it's a new game. So there's new abilities and new unlocks and stuff, but you start with everything. So you feel already quite powerful. Um, yeah. Uh, Stevie's mentions you're, you're a generation behind on the PlayStation. Um, I was yeah, chatting to Ed over the weekend four. when he was down. He's the same. Like he was like, can I play? Cause I haven't got a PS5. So can I play on your Xbox so that you can, I can see what it's like. I was like, yeah, please crack on. Um, it's really good. I'm really enjoying it. Uh, story's cool so far. It's 
uh again weirdly a lot of high republic era stuff tied in not gonna you're not gonna need to know anything about the books uh or the story it's no no characters f- from any of the books but just the era is mentioned a lot like the mm-hmm. the the bad guy in this is someone who wakes up from back to tank and he's been in there since the high republic um i won't go into any more details on that but yeah that's that's the sort of the the impetus of the story yeah it's good. I have the PS4 that's um, the Vader version. Oh, nice. The Vader one. I, I right. really like it. And I don't, I mean, I don't think I'm going to run out and get a PS5 Vader version if that's a thing. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I usually just play my Switch. I've been playing Castlevania. Cool. I've been playing Metroid Prime. But yeah, there you go. Pretty much, but uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I'll finish the first one. I'll finish the first one. If you want more, it's it's there. Um, it's yeah. it is good fun. Uh, Luch Johnny says he hasn't had much time to play it yet, so he's still on the first planet. I I hadn't had much time. I decided today before we came onto the podcast that I wasn't going to do any studying. Um, I was just going to play some of the games so I could talk about it a little bit more. And he's still on the first planet, and. I assume that that's the first plan after like the the intro. So in the first one, like you're on Braca, you're in the Scrapper planet. That sort of teaches you how to run around and do stuff. It's the intro planet. In this game, that section is on Coruscant, so it's fun seeing Coruscant in that time frame. Um, and then you go to the the first planet, Kobo, which is sort of it's a massive hub, and I feel like. I've barely scratched the surface of things that you can do on that planet, and I've spent hours there. Uh, so, Lucha Johnny, don't feel bad that you're still on that first planet, dude, Like, because you'll go back there a few times, and that planet and Jeddah seem like where they are both huge, and there's so much to do, so many side quests, so much, so many collectibles around, um, and it's fun. And where in the first game, the collectibles seem to be like, a new liquor paint for BD1 or a new poncho for Cal. And this, it's, it is all cosmetics, but you're unlocking hairstyles, beard styles, clothing options, music tracks for the cantina, but also like new characters for the cantina. Like the, the, the cantina that you go back to is a growing and evolving place. Um, so great. like whenever you go back there, if you've met new people, you've sort of essentially recruited them to be, either patrons or staff at this cantina and it's it's fun because when you go back there things are tidied up a little bit more the fish tank has been cleaned and there's a cute little uh fisherman uh alien called scuba steve um but spelt differently um who's who's taking care of it and he's trying to tell you some tales of the sea he's a proper like surly fisherman type um it's great it's really fun it's silly fun uh, and yeah, you could you could get this game and play just on Kobo for hours and never actually progress in the story. That's the thing is, I'd have to get a PS5. Yeah, that is that's the the problem holding back. Or maybe or maybe move on to Xbox. I don't know. I've yeah. I've, uh, I've, I, I, I've I love had... my my Series X. Like I I know that most people have gone PlayStation. They've stuck with that. But as someone who's not like a hardcore gamer, I I just sort of. I like the controls and I like Halo. I like I like playing Halo. So like I was yeah, like, can yeah, you play I'll Halo on those? Yeah. The, yeah, the yeah, originals yeah. and stuff. Yeah. yeah see, I and and Xbox. like with Game Pass, which is such a good deal. Like you don't need to buy the game. It's like a ten or a month or something, maybe fifteen bucks a month. Uh and you just got access to so many games. Um Yeah, I, I Yeah. Switch does it's, that. Yeah, yeah. It's a subscription. So, like, if you know that you're going to be playing for a, a while, then great. It's worth it. And then you just cancel it and restart it again later. Yeah. Um, there's no there's no downside to doing that. You just don't get to play them in those times. But, yeah. How much is an Xbox? How much is an uh, Xbox? I don't know. Off the top of my head. I bought it a couple of years ago now. I could trade my book in for that. I mean, it's not going to be far off, to be honest. Like, that yeah. that book, is, yeah. is if, if you might need to top up by, like, 50 or 100 bucks but yeah it's going to be probably about that yeah yeah um scott d asks a question and i'm gonna to have to like put it away before I, I explain this so um scott d says why the official first name and middle initial last name uh uh today and james is on a first name basis only with audiences so here's here's the long and short of it so 
uh, our show, I do lots of shows and I do it under the same stream yard and I could switch between data link, star Wars, live action, star Wars and Mitsupod and anything else that, that mm-hmm. I have set up as a preset. Um, since the last time we did a data link episode, um they have now included headlines which does ah yeah there you go yeah so usually usually what happens is uh since we did that over on live action stars you'll you'll see it done this way Mm -hmm. um and i did i forgot to set that when we came back to data link after after months and months of no data links (laughs) um also with the official name the the ralph the apple i have an uncle ralph ralph apple um and now like this is how i'm going to be credited usually when i write a script or do anything like that that's how i i, I credit me because i put the mm-hmm. d in there um so it's so you know it's not my uncle and this is how i'm credited in the uh, the the movie that i'm working on and so okay. i've been adding the d because a lot of times i'll just put ralph but just now since the people yeah so some people will if some people find me from there they know that i'm this guy you're the same guy so but yeah the reason why it was that is because we we used to we usually just just our handles our, wasn't it our handles yeah um but they added this this headline thing down here so mm. just a fun my name and and the reason that my my twitter handle has always just been jay hewlett and that is i grab that on anything that i'm going to sign up for is uh because one day i want jamie hewlett uh from gorillas and comic books to offer me money for it but so far he hasn't um so <laughs> if anyone's a fan of tank girls jamie hewlett or gorillas artist jamie hewlett uh let him know that i am for sale <laughs> uh when i was working at the comic book shop uh and djing at the same time i used to get mistaken for him online quite a bit because of the yeah. shared like music and comics and the name james hewlett uh, he goes by Jamie. I'm James, but yeah, that it, I used to get mistaken from him quite a bit. There's a few like British celebrities, like British comedians and stuff, who occasionally would hit me up and just be like, "Oh, hey man, love your work." Um, and I'm like, "Thanks, love yours too." I I'm not who you think I am, but you know, I appreciate it. <laughs> right. There's old Darmalars listener Casey Donahue who mm-hmm. got the Twitter handle Casey Donahue. And I guess there's a singer or somebody else named Casey Donahue, like in a band, okay. yeah, like My Chemical Romance or oh, one of them, whatever, yeah, um, one of those kinds of things. And so Casey's a director and has done some stuff, but got into a position where he got a blue check mark on Twitter. Oh, okay. And so then it was really confusing. Yeah, and he would get all kinds of all kinds of shit for the other <laughs> Casey Donahue. I'm That's just gonna fun. do a quick search, see what the other see which one comes up. Uh, I... Um, yeah, I, I mean, of all the things that we've we've had come out recently, I think we've covered. Oh, it's a country that. singer. It's a country oh, okay. singer. <laughs> Probably not my chemical romance though. Maybe not. Wait, well, this is spelled different. I don't. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. It's. Oh, it's a football. It's a football guy. Oh, okay. I don't know. I don't know. But it's funny. Yeah. It's funny because he ended up getting a blue check mark. And I don't know if it's because they thought he was the other dude. Maybe, maybe. I mean, I as I said, I, I was waiting for it. The blue check mark thing's wild because, like, for a, like for a, the longest time, it was like, okay, cool, this is a, an official account. Now I see it and I'm like, dickhead, you paid for a blue check mark. Um, <laughs> it's become like a a unless it is someone who's got like a, a verified one, like completely understandable. Like, if it's just some person that you've never heard of with a blue check mark, you're like. Uh, you're just like you're you're buying you're buying stuff you're buying likes. Are you getting out of that? Yeah, I have no idea, and it I don't know. Hmm. We're getting into the negative <laughs> side of things, but like it's you look at it and you go, "Yep, this is exactly the sort of person that I try and block or avoid on Twitter always." Yeah. Um. Yeah. 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 I have a couple it's... friends who had blue check marks, and when that all went away, I'm like, okay, good. All my all my friends aren't buying it still. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Weird. 
So weird. What a wild, yeah. wild time Twitter is going through. Did you see that someone tweeted out the entirety of the Super Mario Brothers movie recently? Yeah, I heard about that. And like yeah. four chunks or something, or two chunks. Uh-huh. Something like that. Yeah. I still Crazy. didn't watch it. <laughs> It's I don't fun. have any. I like Super Mario. I like the movie, or I like mm-hmm. the the games. But I don't know. There was just I wouldn't. I wouldn't have gone to see it. Like... Liz wanted to see it, uh, and I was like, "Yeah, cool." And I, I thought it was, I thought it was a fun movie. Like absolutely disposable bit of entertainment that was just yeah enjoyable in the moment. I'll never yeah. need to see it again. Yeah, that'll be on what Paramount Plus? No. Yeah, I would have thought so. Yeah, yeah something like that. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll watch it. Then. It'll be on one of them. Yeah. That's exactly where it should be. <laughs> um, I don't have anything else for this week, unless you do. I don't either. Um, which is crazy because it's you know Star Wars Day. Ah, that's in like two weeks. That's yeah. Um, yeah. But I'm very excited about. I, yes. I I I I'm afraid to pop start wat- list or listening to the the audio book because I or the radio drama because I know I'm just gonna blast through it. Yes, yeah, I'm like I don't want it to go away from my brain before we record. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, before then, next week we are talking about the uh, oh shit I already forget the name the creatures the, the creatures of classic the... creatures Return classic. of the Jedi. Yes, uh, with guest Charlie Brigden. Um, cool dude that is that's available on youtube i believe is that right yeah we have a link i try to find the best quality one and if you go if you're here on youtube Mm -hmm. and you are uh you can see all the live episodes we have coming up because i just filled up the slate for may since we knew it was coming down the pipeline um there's links for everything you need so if you if you if you go to our radio drama episode that's coming up go in the notes it'll have the link to um to listen to that for free yeah um, it's NPR, so it's public radio. It should be pretty easy to find, it regardless. Um, I, I struggled have... weirdly, like last week. I was trying to find it, and the link was dead that night. Just that one particular night. Yeah. Went on the next one. It's it, a little odd. It's it can be touch and go. So basically, don't give up hope. If it's if it's not working when you go on it, just try again the next day, and it will probably and be back you up. Should, you you might be able to just download them. If yeah. you find the link, just download all ten. And just, just put them on case. your put them on your iPod, classic. Um, and then uh, pre click uh, wheel, pre click wheel, the one with the four yeah. buttons. Oof. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and also you'll you'll find the the best quality version I could of the of the classic monsters, which is I, I did a quick uh, scrub of it to find the artwork with Billy D and Salacious Crumb. Amazing. It's fucking awesome yeah it's such a good i'm like oh my god these two guys it's uh, it's peak believe they're in the it's same like... movie it makes it's it's insane um but it's not just him no nice. i saw carrie fisher in there i saw some other people in there so oh, great. cool so I'm i can't i've never to... seen it i've never I've seen, never it, seen it. it i've never seen it very it'll be excited. fun to do um and, and uh, yeah we've got special guests on for that episode but it'll still be Charlie. regular time yeah yeah um so that'll be fun that's next week 17th uh, yeah yeah, Sarah's next, birthday. Next Wednesday. Oh, cool. Uh, uh, well, it's Sarah's birthday. And I say happy yeah. birthday to Sarah next week, then not today. Yeah. Um, cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, all right. Thanks, thanks to everybody for joining us. I mean, yeah, this was kind of nice. Casual just, chat. Just, I felt up. again. It felt weird not watching a thing before we did this. Um, it always feels weird, which makes it feel like it's been forever since we've done a live action Star Wars, but it's literally been a week. Yeah, we did one last week, mm-hmm. and then because it was the deleted scenes, it was so short, it didn't feel like a live action Star Wars week. And the week before that was in Vitsipod, so it feels like it literally feels like we haven't talked for like a ton, but a like, long time and, and before that, for the last like eight weeks before that, it was been Mando, so it's like we've known what we're watching, but we can't do it any time before, like just before the show. So yeah. it's like those ones, like the show ones are always intensive because it's like work, 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 work. There's like, there's no yeah. prep time. Whereas, yeah, now right. we're sort of back into that easy breezy. We'll watch this when we've got the time to watch this <laughs> time. It's, yeah. it's fun. Yeah. Off season get, we, I feel like we get loopy in the off season. I quite like it. A little bit, a little bit. Like it's, it. it's, yeah, it's fine. Cool. And then, and then go watch Sweet Tooth, by the way. Yeah, do Sweet it. Is, and then go listen to Sweet Tooth. really good. And watch it week to week like I am because it's fun to do that and then listen to a podcast about it. Yeah. 
It's great. Yeah. Um, until next week when we're back with a guest at our regular time, don't give in to hate. Celebrate the love. Punch it. Thank <laughs> you.